Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. Shut up. You shall want. What is all this rubbish? You talk to me this way in my house? In your husband's house. You are a foolish girl. This wine must have gotten to the wrong side of your head. I consider this the end of your visit in this house. This project, Lara's song, is a phenomenal one. It is a mind-blowing, life-changing experience for me as an individual and I guess to every other person that took part in this project. Lara's song is about a couple of young people who are misguided by societal principles and decide to mess up their lives and think they can easily pick up the pieces by defrauding their families and that last song is a song of deception because uh, society generally is the society we live in is a society of deception and uh, we have to fight against that i play the role of mr yari the lead character the story is quite interesting i haven't seen I haven't read the script this book in quite a long while. It's, it's a different kind of story. Um, the moment the director wired the screenplay to me, um, I read a little bit and I had to stop in the middle of the night to go out into my living room and try to get a hard copy out just because the story was fantastic. It's, it's, it's a different kind of story, you know. Kangas, close up. Take one. Action! She's fighting for a lover. She's waiting for a lover. Well, so, is a different kind of movie or story. It's a comic movie, and the effort every single actor. And every that's every single actor, be it behind the camera or in front of the camera, is putting into it. I think that our song will be what we want it to be. Now let's go to the Bhagavajita. It presents a synthesis of the Brahmanical concepts of Dhammatheistic Bhati and the yogic ideals of Moksha. The thing is coming on. Do I have to say any of those lines? Manga is that kind of character that is he thinks. He's supportive. The next moment, he's cunning. The next moment, he's uh, greedy. It has been an amazing experience um, because um, Lara Sender Bender, she's wow, you know, um, her ability to, 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 to interpret her character, to, to, to bring it live. You, if you are not careful, even right before the camera, you can begin to drop tears. You, you cry for her character, even though you are supposed to be her co actor, you know. So I, I think uh, I have so much respect for her. Um, I play the role of uh, the woman. I must confess. It was such a difficult role to play. <laughs> I played Doctor before, yes, but this one uh, and the kind of story too, it was challenging. But I thank God, everything was perfect. Characters like Sende Bende, oh my God. <laughs> that woman is, uh, is dynamic. And from every indication, she's going to grab a word from this kind of I played the part of Mrs. Yari in the film Lara's Song. When I got word from the director, Mr. Jack, that uh, there was a new movie, Lara's Song, and that I was going to be part and parcel of the, the, the cast, well, I... I, I I just said yes. He sent me the script, and when I read the script, what first came into my mind is 
the story was a very strange one. Elton Jack, working with him on set. Um, very difficult, especially on this particular project, because Lara's song is a very challenging story that had to be told in a very meticulous way. So I had problems shooting with my dear friend Elton Jack. I had my own fears, things um, I naturally fear. Insects, animals, things like that. He would not want to see it from my point of view. But in all, I'm so grateful because he brought out Lara in me. Is there someone to hear? Can somebody come near? She's feeling so bad. Is there someone to hear? We had a vision. We all had similar visions. So we understood ourselves so perfectly. And that's why I can say this is the most convenient project I've ever done because everything was understood. Not just understanding what the script or the technicalities of it, but understanding everybody's vision because we have been working for over a year now. We took our time to prepare the set, we took our time to, to make everything move smoothly, like trying to bring in new techniques, new ways of shooting, lighting and everything. I was about 18 when I wrote this, the first story, you know, and it only came back many, many years. It was written before almost most of the people who are watching this thing were born. Producer, an actor, great guy, great actor. I wouldn't have done it without Kanya Kwai and Kwa Kingsley. These guys did Kanga and Manga. Great guys, wonderful actors, highly talented. I will recommend them anytime, any day. We made a great pair on, on set, you know, who we'll always complement each other. When the see when one person seems like, oh, the other one is is a low or something is not coming up well you know they will cheer you up they will talk to you they will help you with your lines guide you you know we had so much support and love and understanding for one another which was great the production was a success the challenges were very very minimal and i think it's a great project but i would still like to work with the same cast and the crew again over and over and over and over, and over, and over because there is no crew you meet without challenges on set Bravo to you guys. A big shout out to Onset. Keep watching Onset. One loaf. Onset every time on your screen, coming every Saturday. Don't stop watching. You're watching Onset with DJ Black, director of photography for the movie Lara Song. I want to say let's just watch this with Onset. Thank you very much. Oh, my you people should go. I will stay here. <laughs> Is that the way you want that? I will stay here and get well. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, ever. She said, Well, well, enough. She said, Well, enough. Well, enough. Well, enough. She said, Well, enough. Well, enough. Let's go.